So before we export, the one thing to keep in mind is that the end goal is to create a VR project. And VR projects are essentially video games, and video games are highly reliant on the hardware that they're run on for performance. So that means we need to remove any parts that we deem unnecessary to keep the data set as light as possible. So any parts that can't be seen should be removed. So for example, if we never see the engine, we should remove it. Parts that are seen, but we consider not 100% necessary in terms of aesthetics, so potentially things like bolts, uh, nuts, split pins, we should also consider removing. Also, parts that are obscure or in hard to see areas, so for example, something like a cooling fan behind a grill should be replaced with a simpler representation. Here we are in Inventor and I have loaded up the front loader data set that we're going to be using for this project. So once you've lightened up this data set as much as you feel is necessary, the next step is to go ahead and export this as a step file, which is not too difficult. We just go into File, Export, CAD Format and from the drop down we choose step and then we save so you may be asking at this point why a step file why not an inventor file so although 3ds max can import native inventor files it comes with additional intelligence which is nice but in this case we don't need it so step files will basically save us time when it comes to exporting from Inventor, but not only that, importing into 3ds Max. Also, step files have useful import options that we don't get with Inventor files.